Hi, this is Karen Ann Archer, and welcome back to my uh, plain air. We ain't actually in the studio. We are outside of my mom's house, Garnetly Masters, and it is raining, but I thought ahead and put my canopy tent up yesterday. So, regardless of the rain or not, uh, we're gonna paint today. So we're gonna get set up and get started. Okay, I'm putting out a little bit of cadmium yellow medium. Cadmium lemon. Naples yellow or Nepal's, I'm not sure how you pronounce that one. Indian yellow. Cadmium red medium. Some Elizam Fensum. Some raw umber. Yellow ochre. Switch me some titanium white. I'm gonna have some more white. Oops. I'm gonna lay it on the white ground. Put out set green. Now I know it, it is, the rain's tapered off some, you're still probably getting in here for tent. Hopefully you don't fall asleep that wonderful country rain time. Cobalt green, that's just that I'm gonna work on the green because I'm really working more on the fall colors as of now. Cerium blue, because I don't even know if we're gonna probably need a tab of the blue. Might not need much. Because actually we're not gonna use a sky in this painting. Ready. Let me show you what we're gonna do. Get my viewfinder. We are on a six by eight panel. It goes a twelve by sixteen on this. All right. Let me take you off here and show you what we're doing. All right. Here is. Set up now. I've got some liquid original. I think it has been in that cup for a while and it's kind of dried over. I'm hoping I can poke a hole in it. And there's some moisture down in there. Six by eight. Now we are under the tent and I'll show you the setup here in a minute. But I'm thinking, as far as view. Now, getting in, so maybe a tad bit close. We got a mailbox across there. About that view minus the pole. Probably gonna take out the phone pole too. Hopefully you see that real good. 
Rain's starting to come down a little bit more now. So hopefully you're going to be able to hear me talk. All right, I'm going to set up and do a wash first. Probably going to start it pretty light. I think I want to do it in the heavy and yellow light. really want that fall brightness to come through. So we're gonna go ahead and do our wash in yellow. Got a little bit of rain on there. That's all right. Got my yam saw down here. Hanging. Hopefully I don't spill it. Alright, we're gonna take our paper towel. And just blot it off and dry it off a bit. Alright, now we got to wash. I do like to put a glove on my left hand that I'm holding my paper towel. So we'll go ahead and get a glove on. So get my paper towel. Let's get started on doing a drawing. See, now it's being so little, I'm trying to pop a hole in this and see how much that liquid is still with me. Oh yeah, underneath there I got liquid. Even though I had a lid on that cup, we got a, like a dry outer shell, but we've got some good looking underneath. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of that asphalt and hand saw it down a little bit. Let's just sit on our drawing. See how I can paint and, all right. I really like the truck. I turned that a tad bit toward me. All right. So we're going to put the truck in here. Let me let that view in. Let's see. Let's start with the driveway. I'm going to lead you in. That's a little bit much. Best thing about it is you just... mess up you just get a race ah, see so we're going to fit the mailbox here make it small because we're going to have some distance in here and we'll have a lot of that horizon line and mailbox across the street Get the road here. Make sure you into the sidewalk. Come in. Kind of an angle. I'm kind of mumbling. I'm making decisions in my head. So I'm gonna make that the driveway. And let's see. I want to put the old truck in. I'm gonna just imply this truck, so. I'm just kinda getting the shape of the truck in. I'm gonna give him a lot of detail, he's just gonna be there. Got the water tank back there. We got this nice, beautiful yellow tree going on over here. I don't want to run that yellow background on. Come in there. Wow. Lost some water there. Now, let's decide. We'll probably just do some colors of that. Come back now. To make it interesting, maybe we're going to make some changes and have the driveway come up around. Yeah. 
easy in that way because you kind of got that lead in. Over here, over marker. All right, that's pretty much it for drawing. All right, let's see. Now, we got some beautiful. Beautiful yellow tree kind of just hanging out here. So we're gonna bounce around and put that, that in. Now I'm just thinking big shapes at this time. Big shapes. Where do I want them? And they're all up here. I am, this is pretty much a color study. I just couldn't pass up the opportunity, even if it's raining, get out here and paint just some of these fall colors even if the sun's not hitting them and I'm in the rain. So I'm really just working on getting that beautiful fall colors in. And I'm looking up as I'm putting these colors in on the trees. One back here behind the other tree, and it is so bright and yellow. Beautiful, just beautiful. Mm, that thing is bouncing around quite a bit. And we're gonna run all these colors up off the page. Like I said, we're doing a color study. I, we know how to paint sky, so I ain't gonna worry about sky. Yeah, really bright over here. Really bright and beautiful in that book. All right, I like that. Now, go in here and make whatever green I want to make. Make some green tree coming down this way. Sprinkle some green around in there. And it's very thick over there. I don't want a lot of details. That is our background. We do have a field over here. Kind of playing in. Put that in. And then across. I think I want to get a bigger brush because I really just want to okay. it was getting a little wet even though I'm under the tent but the wind's blowing slightly so I'm going to be out here a long amount of time pretty much to get out here and feel like I've painted some it's been a while since I've been out painting Really bright red. Going on out here, down here. Okay. Okay. Bring some orange in. Back of orange. Bring like orange off in this side here. Are you getting all this? Rainwater splashing on the palette. Hopefully the wind will let us stay under here. I have to get out some more yellow. Underestimated how much yellow I'm gonna need. 
really pretty when it crosses the road. So to do atmosphere, you really want to keep it light in the background. So make all these colors pop. I'm going with a lot of brown. Pretty good for background. I'm going here. Really light field over here. trees in so all this can start making sense to you. I was kind of painting the leaves before I was painting some trunks. white going on over here in this trunk. It doesn't come as pretty. I almost have a blue up to it too. That's pretty. I think these trunks have kind of like this white. I don't know if you can see it really well over here in the background. The white casting in on this trunk. I'm going to use that to make them kind of stand out. Kind of picking and choosing some of the big ones that I want to say, hey, I'm a tree over here. Just got some big ones back here. Just pretty much put this tree in. We've got a lot of light colored on him. I'm kind of just messing around there. All right. So I think I'm going back through and going to swipe up some trees. Paintbrush, I'll do a little bit thinner of a line. Just around here, break up some of this. Alright. Now, I think we might put that road in. Wasn't going to, but it kind of tells the story. Hmm. Gotta make our mind. Are we gonna put the road in or not? It'd put a line across it. I think we may just leave it out. Alright. Let's start working on the... Now, to get kind of the driveway out...
trying to use my brush strokes and the way I want them the driveway to kind of move. Sprinkle to that driveway. Get kind of like a parking area over here. Darken that up. Trees mm -hmm. oh. there. Now, go ahead and put in our truck. It's not gonna be that big. I'm just getting kind of the shape of him in. He's a little bit lighter than that the road. I'm gonna lighten the road up too, but he does kind of blend in the road. He don't compete with the driveway colors, that's for sure. Not competing. He's like it's like an off white creamy colored truck. Old truck here. The old watering truck. Kind of gonna put that in. All right. Sure, you are still with me here. Put it in his tires. that tire there, that tire's right about here. I don't even look, it's got kind of like a gray tint. Let's see a little bit of a grayish looking tint in the window. Oh, nope. so that. Oh, that works. Nice and green. Go around the window here. Straighten them up. Got a window off to the side. And we got some mirrors. Go ahead and decide. We're going to put those little, poor little lights. Of course, it's missing a grill. So I'm going to kind of put him in there. And I'm just thinking big shapes. Kind of look, doesn't look like much at the moment. So we're going to get him in there. As I work on him, I'm hoping he'll shape up and look more like a truck. But I really honestly don't want a lot of detail on him. I'm just kind of implying that there's a truck over here. Let's keep him in some color. Not sure how good he's going to turn out today. Alright, we'll keep getting in that green. Yeah, I'm blending in too much. Might have to bring him back out in color. Get back in the white. Bring the color back out a little bit on him. Squinting my eyes. Trying to figure out where I want that color to lay. She's pretty much the truck cab. Painting in. He's there much. We might go in and do a little bit of fine detail on him and bring him out. Let's go ahead and get him some grass and what's around him. Kind of went back to a light wash here. A little thicker than what we started with. 
Mann, da. The water is coming off the top of the tent and hope it don't splash in on my painting. No, uh, ah, a little wind. That's what I was hoping we wouldn't see is wind. I see some orange down in here on the driveway. Definitely looks like on the driveway a bad bit. A little bit over here. Now we're going to use the background to shape up some of the truck. Alright, got a lot of color in. Mailbox. Mm -hmm. Mom's mailbox. Okay. She kind of got the mailbox too big. Well, take it out by just blending it in. Try that again. Gonna be a tie bit of a dot. I mean, really, I know it's a mailbox. Right there. We may work on him a little later. Now, actually, that grass over here is really we're getting a lot of rain this uh, summer. So we have like, honestly. Some pretty nice grass. A lot of mowing done this summer. I'm not sure anybody out mowing. I ain't got that job right now. Very much mowing. Alright, it's coming along. Let's go ahead. Come in here. And there's that. Let's put that tree in. Because it's so cool about that tree. that all the branches from here look black. Hopefully. And a lot of black over here. Of course, in nature, you don't have a true black. It's a dark brown, but it is really dark. Now, I think the light in those branches are really making them light. And it's kind of coming off. All right. Let's put some detail in on that. Now if you want a fine point, if you can see what I'm doing, I'm kind of rolling that paintbrush, loosen that paint up, and you almost get like a where you can draw. Kind of straighten up this truck a little bit. May have to this tire zoom. May have to go in and really put him white to show up this background. He blends in so much. Really blends in. Let's go ahead and put some details, drawings in on him since that truck's so close. And I do want you to know it's a A truck here. So I'm going to go in and pick up quite a bit of white. Add some white to this truck. Maybe it'll pop a little bit. Come up out of the 
background. Now you don't get any. Even though I'm underneath the tent, I think I'm leaking or it is rain all day. But you know, that's the thing about it. Getting out here and playing your painting, you could do a small painting. Now we're already sitting in the car. Might have been better in the car today. And out here. Set in the car. Oh my God. Be surprised just a dot here and a dot there that can really imply there's something there. And he's got a big water tank on the back of it. I'm gonna put a little lens and crimson in there, darken my uh, brown up. I'm gonna do some truck bed here. Glad that that's got a bed on it. Kind of a flatbed truck. There we go. That looks like a truck. Yeah. Alright, I think that's about it. I'm going to bring some of the color of the background. Okay, he's there. This is Karen Ann Archer, and thank you so much for joining me today. Even though we're out here in the rain, plain air painting, uh, still had a pretty good time. Uh, it's a little cool, mid 60s, uh, but I've had a lot of hot coffee. And as always, come back and see me and keep painting.